making sure I can read comments that come in. Um, sat here in my PJs again. Hope you don't mind. Come on. There we go. Just setting up my iPad here so I can make sure that you guys can hear me. Come on, Kathy, speak. There we go. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm sat here in my pyjamas because I'm not going to do day day today. I'm owed that. So I want to go over. Uh, so yesterday I decided I was going to do a art quilt based on what I'm going through right now. And if you don't know what I'm going through right now, um, kind of it's a little bit depressing, I guess. So if doesn't float your boat, then I don't blame you for going. Um, but I've been diagnosed with breast cancer and um, I had my surgery on the 23rd of June. And today I go and see my surgeon to find out whether it has spread, whether he's caught it all and the next steps forward for me. So just trying to keep my mind off everything, if I'm honest. So I've decided to come on live and show you what I have done with this art quilt. So I basically wanted, because yesterday I was a little bit down. So because I was a bit down, I decided that I was just going to like try and um, take my mind off. Well, I say take my mind off things. I don't want to go and do something like this. I kind of wanted to do a art quilt that captures like what I've been going through with this whole scenario of like waiting for two weeks of whether it's going to be like good news or bad news and stuff like that and I just wanted to capture it in an actual quilt so I am going to change the view to show you guys I'm in my basement so sorry about the clutter so here you go this is this is it. So basically, this is the art quilt I've done. And it is actually all appliqued. So I am going to see if you can see that up close. So these are small sections of bits of cotton that I have appliqued on to. And I'll tell you in a second how I did it. So basically, I wanted to emulate like the pain that I'm going through kind of thing. And I wanted to use like the purples and the blues and the greens, um, almost like bruise colors kind of thing. And then this person kind of like emulates me. And how I did it was I got a piece of um, fusible fleece. So the fusible fleece is my backing for this quilt and I haven't done any quilting on it just yet because where they have removed some of my um, lymph nodes, um, it's still kind of painful underneath my underarm um, and my arm. And I have to be really careful because I can actually agitate it really quickly and I didn't even realise that. I'm like trying to go about my daily business sometimes and forgetting that I've just had surgery so this is fusible fleece and then on the back of that I actually attached a plain white cotton and the reason why I did the plain white cotton is because I wanted to see all of the areas that I wanted to cover up with my little sections of applique so all the applique is um so the cotton is stuck down onto heat and bond and I use um I think I used a heavy heat and bond like the heat and bond ultra and I attached that onto a piece of cotton and then I just cut, start cutting all of the pieces out and then I'll stick them on with an iron and just start sticking all of these cut pieces. So when I'm feeling a bit better, I can actually go around all of these little sections and quilt them all in properly. But like I said, I can't really do it at the moment because I really don't want to agitate that shoulder or that arm right now. 
And then the lady figure was actually, and I wanted her to look sad, obviously. I don't want her to look like she's cheering or anything. Um, but the lady figure is done on the cricket. So I cut it on the cricket, but I actually messed up my mat in the process. I'll show you my mat. So I've kind of got this paper stuck to my mat because I used, well, I actually re-stick my mats for a start with some glue that I have. Do I have that handy here so I can show you guys? Um, yes, I do, right here. So when I come to re-sticking my Cricut mats, I always use this particular glue. It's a two-way glue and it's by Zig. And I've actually noticed that they're starting to sell this in Michael's now, which is kind of good. Um, they actually do a pen version of that. I don't know if I can, there it is, it's right click here. So they do a, a pen version of it where it's like a really fine nib and this glue is really good. So it's going to be good for card making and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely need some more of this. It's really good. This is kind of like a chisel. And you just put it, coat it on your mat. Put it all over me. I knew that was going to happen. Um, you put it all over your mat and it'll stick it. It sticks it really well. But the problem with this glue is you can't put any paper down on it because if you put paper down on it, it's it's really, really sticky and you won't be able to get it off. So, don't know. Maybe I'll give it to my husband to take off. He kind of likes dealing with that sort of stuff. Or maybe I could take a wire, a wire wool and go at it that way. Um... But I, I will be able to salvage this and I'll probably just, what I'll have to do is just, um, you take a baby wipe and you just like, you take all the glue off it and then you just go ahead and like re-stick it and you can do that for loads and loads of times. But it's just not good for paper, it's really good for glue, um, for fabric if you if you use that. So basically when I'm feeling a bit better... I'm going to go in and do some free motion quilting on my quilt and obviously I'm going to put a backing on it and obviously I'm going to be doing the binding but that's that's about as much I can do right now because what I want to come in with some I don't know whether to come in with some different coloured threads I don't know I kind of want to keep it dark and depressing I kind of like the look right now and then afterwards I want to do another one that's hopefully a bit more colourful and brighter because I've had some good news. Mm. So all the people that want to know about my my update here. So today I get to see the surgeon again and I actually had the um, Cross Cancer Institute called me yesterday for my appointment with them and basically um, how I'm going to sort of like treat it or fight this cancer, like going like forward kind of thing. Um, so that is a consultation that I'll be having on the 13th of July. I actually have a hair appointment as well on the 14th of July. So hopefully I'll be getting a nice colour and not something else. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to be having like chemotherapy or anything right now. It seems as though it's going to be just radiation. That's what the doctor had told me about um, when I last spoke to him. But obviously, like, they don't know, do they? Like, they have to do the um, the surgery and get the pathology test and everything. And that's what I'm going for today is to find out what next, what he recommends. So I'll probably do an update with my surgeon um, on tomorrow. Might come on a live tomorrow. Lives are really good for me because I don't have to worry about editing them. Like when I do a regular YouTube video, because my regular YouTube video is a quilt and so in, and I know I've come on talking about my breast cancer, but I mean, that's life. Like something that's affecting me right now. So hey ho. Ooh. 
I'm sorry if you don't like it. But oh well. So my mum sent me some gifts. Thank you, mum. I'm going to open it up. See what she sent me. What is this? It's like an unboxing for my mum. <laughs> oh, look what she sent. <laughs> so I've been making these like sun catchers for my garden. So she sent me <laughs> some beads from her. I don't know whether it was from her light. <laughs> so I like my garden to twinkle so I've been making these like sun catches in my garden and hanging them for my tree and for my plants and from like absolutely everything so thank you mom <laughs> what's this <clears throat> oh look it's a dress she sent me a cute dress should I wear this for my doctor's appointment today? Maybe I should. It's pink. It actually feels a lot like my um my PJs that I've got on right now. <laughs> oh thanks, Mum, that's cute. I don't know if she's washed it, it doesn't smell washed. It still smells new. Um oh no, I can't wear it for my daughter's appointment. I have to like put a gown on. I could slip it down, I guess. No, I'll wear it another day. What else has she got? Oh, look. Believe in yourself. Believe in all you want to be. Don't let what other people say or do make you drown. Laugh as much as possible. Let in good times and get through the bad. Be happy with who and where you are. You are in the right place and your heart is leading you on the way to a great tomorrow. Ah, don't want to cry. Um, when circumstances seem difficult, pull through them. This will make you stronger than you think. The longer you practice the habit of working towards your dreams, the easier the journey will become. You were meant for great things. Learn as much as possible and follow your dreams. That's Ashley Rice. What does the other one say? You are one amazing lady. I want you to know that you are one amazing lady. You are so good to the people in your life. So considerate and caring. When you, when you give, it's easy to see that it comes straight from your heart and it gives you, and it gives everyone around you the gift of a nicer world to live in. I hope you'll never forget how much I treasure just being in this world with you. I really hope that all your days are as beautiful and as bright as the ones you inspire in other people's lives. Laurie Westfall. Thanks, Mum, for making me cry. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. <clears throat> What's this? I think it's more gems. This has come off a light. It still has all the like little like stickers on there for like where the packets go. Yeah, it's more gems. <clears throat> Look, paintbrushes. Aren't they cool? Got little mermaid paintbrushes. <clears throat> here you go, there's another card here that probably has more stuff. Daughter, you are life's greatest gift to me. Memories come flooding back to me as I look back over the years and I want to hold on to you and at the same time watch you fly high and free. I don't think I can read all that. <laughs> anyway, let's stop being depressing. So, yeah, so that was my art quilt. I think the whole thing has been depressing, hasn't it? Anyway... <laughs> Um, how can I end on a lighter note? Hey, Sophie, come here. <clears throat> Look, your putty cat. <laughs> 
anyway guys thank you for watching sorry for weeping and i will speak to you soon